video. You guys really liked the last one I did, and some of you guys suggested that I do fluffy slime. There are so many different recipes out there for fluffy slime, and I wanted to find something borax free because I heard that borax can really irritate your skin, and I didn't want that. I'm putting my hands in it and it's itching and all this other stuff. I really didn't want to deal with any of that. So we've got our glue. We've got our shaving cream, our contact solution, and then the added things that we're going to add is some food coloring. I've got glue and red because I want to make a purple. Maybe it might turn out lavender because of the white glue. I've got my glitter. I've got my favorite, which is this pink, and then I've got a lavender, a teal, turquoise-ish, whatever, and a purple. Also, to kind of fluff it up, fluff it up a bit, not fluff it up, but kind of, uh, I don't know, make it unique a little bit more, we are going to use some slime balls. I have never heard of slime balls. I didn't even know these things existed. Maybe you guys have, but I have no idea how this is going to affect the actual slime itself, and I'm very, very interested to see how it's going to turn out. Now, let's get started. Ooh, I, ooh, girl. I like the way that glue comes out. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Yes, I know. I am highly addicted to glitter. If you guys have seen the Glitterfy video, if not, you need to check it out because you can see how in love with glitter I am. Glitter is just so beautiful, you know? It brightens my heart, brightens my day. This guy's got a lot to give. Go ahead, little buddy. Give us all of your bud. I mean, your glue. I'm going to stir it a little bit. Okay, so everything that I read said it's very important that if you're using your food coloring that you put it to the glue before you put anything else. I'm going to just drop a couple of the blue in here. We'll do three drops. Kind of play around and see what this color will be exactly. And let's do equal amounts of red. Or a little bit more. That red came out with like kind of like blood. A little concerning. So now let's mix this in. Ooh, I like the way that that mixes. The way that that color, oh my gosh, I kind of want to leave it this way instead of mixing it in. I really like the tie-dye-ish look of this, but I kind of feel like since I'm gonna be mixing in the shaving cream and contact solution, that it is going to just kind of on its own change into a more colorful purple. But I do already like the color it is, so I'm actually gonna leave it. You can see loose blue and loose red in this mixture, and I like that. If it becomes more purple later, I'm okay with that also. So I'm gonna actually leave it where it's at. All right, let's mix in our shaving foam. Also known as shaving cream. And this is the stuff that makes it like the fluffy foam. This is what gives it its fluffiness. That's the thing that I think is important if, in any recipe. Knowing what, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I just want to put it on my body. And I know that I shouldn't, but I want to. Actually, I could. It's always important with any recipe and knowing what each ingredient does. So the shaving foam gives it its fluffiness and the contact solution um, helps to make it not sticky. So thick looking right now. This actually looks like thick, colorful marshmallow fluff that you could like put on a cake or something, and I kind of want to eat it and bathe in it uh, at the same time. Not at the same time, but maybe eat it first, then bathe in it, you know, priorities. All right, so let's drop in some of our contact solution, like a little squirt. Just mix it in until it's not sticky anymore. Once it all starts to kind of stick to itself and form and I can start kneading it, that's when I know that I am done. It smells so good. Like, not like, ooh, tasty. But like, you know when you get really, really good soap that smells just so refreshingly clean and if somebody had the soap on them, like they just bathe, you have to hold them. That is what this smells like. Exactly that. It is still extremely sticky where it's not hardened enough. Pour in some more. Ah, that was a good squirt of it because I see it's already kind of picking up a little off the edges here. Goodness, you really gotta... 
Gotta churn that butter, bruh. Churn that butter. It is still very runny. I'm gonna add some more shaving cream to make it more fluffy. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Apparently I needed more shaving cream. Because that reaction, it's really thickening up. It's really thickening, thickening up. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. It's starting to pick up from the bottom when I stir it. Like you can see the tendrils of the, the slime towards the wall of this. So I'm really excited. Look at that, did you see that? It's like cleaned the side of the bowl. All right. Now that it's slipping around, I think it's a good place to kind of start kneading it until the, look at this. Oh, I love the consistency of this already. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. But it is so sticky. It is so freaking sticky. I definitely, definitely, definitely need some more contact solution. Look at this! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's not coming off. I'm getting stuck to everything. Oh my gosh, this guy is just like gloopy as heck. Oh my goodness. And it is getting less sticky. I see it's kind of freeing my fingers there, so that's a good sign. Guys, I feel it thickening. It's a me, Mario. I'm making a purple pizza. Whoa! Look at my hands. This is so sticky, guys. Or maybe I need some more shaving cream. Look at that. I'm gonna put some more of this in here. I'm gonna put on my hands. I won't be free of this. I'm wondering if this is kind of a fail because it's like getting all over my hands. I can't even like squirt this stuff out. Everything that I have literally touched is now covered in this slime. Shaving cream does a great job of kind of drying it out a little bit, so that way it's not so sticky, alongside with the contact solution. Next time I make this, I'll know to use a lot more shaving cream than I did in this recipe, and a lot more um, contact solution. I have my wedding ring on, guys. It's covered in slime. I don't know when I'm gonna get that off. <laughs> this is so bad, guys. I washed my hands. They're dried now. And it is still very sticky. Oh. Guys, I think we got it. Except for that, why does it stick to my left, my right hand more, but not to my left hand? All right, so let me knead it a bit more. Oh, I love it! I love the way it feels. Kind of like putty. I can hear it, but I want to make sure it's a lot less sticky. So maybe, I'm feeling like maybe it just needed a second to sit after all the shaving cream and the contact solution. It was still pretty sticky. I think it was too early for me to put my hands in when I did. And because of that, it just kept sticking back to it versus um, coming off. I should have mixed it a bit more. It feels so much better now. It's not sticking to my hands. Except for right then, but it came off. I want to be able to hold it in my hand and not have it stick. I want to, oh crap, I can't do this on this table. It's taking, like, it's stripping the gold off of this table. But what we need to do, what I need to start doing is every craft, laying down some, some protective, this is like a craft cardboardish tape, uh, not tape, paper. So I'll kind of just keep wetting my hands, wetting the, no! No, 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 it's stuck to the paper. Oh my gosh, it's stuck to the paper. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. This is not good. Mayday, mayday, abort, abort mission. Oh my gosh. Guys, this was not, I should not have done this. Uh, we learned something. 
Don't use paper under the slime. Look at this, it won't even come off of this. <laughs> Guys, it's just falling apart so quickly. It is, it is kind of coming off. It, this was all like a learning curve. I learned that I should not put it on paper, should not put it on the tablecloth. I think having a, maybe a bigger plastic bin to use would be nice, or having it on the bare table. We are not done. We got this, this is, look at this, this is our slime. Oh, that is so weird. I'm gonna put up my slime back in my bowl here. Let's go ahead and mix in our slime bowls. Oh gosh, okay. Oh my goodness, all right, it's like foam Christmas. That's about, I would say that's a little, that's a little less than half. And I'm gonna mix this in. I'm really interested to see how, what this is gonna be like. I have no idea. It's already looking super weird. I need it back on here. It's super weird. Ah, I don't know if I like this. I probably should have done less than this. Kind of like, you know that like chocolatey marshmallow -y treat that has like the little rice balls in it? That's what this feels like. But squishier, way squishier and colder. Now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna see if this glitter can save it now. I, I honestly do prefer it without the balls. But let's see, I'm gonna add my favorite glitter, which is this pink, I call this pink sugar cookie. We've got our lavender here. I'm gonna play around and put some of this teal turquoise. I really like the colors that these have, the brightness, but the containers themselves for this little pack that I bought, it's like really hard to open. I don't like that, but I do like the colors. All right, so let's knead this in. Honey, that's not enough glitter. Babe, we gotta turn this glitter up. Turn it up. This is so weird, but satisfying. It's like the sound of happiness. I like this a lot. I would actually love to make some more. I probably won't do the styrofoam, the little slime balls again, because I don't like that part of it. I liked it, I preferred it better without the slime balls. I had a lot of fun making this slime. If you would like to see any more slime or any other type of video on this channel, let me know down below. If you like this video, hit the like and that like button. Make sure you check me out on Twitter, Twitter and other social media. Subscribe for more awesome content. I love you guys as always, and until next time, bye.